It's Ben. Hey, Kim. Oh, yeah, I've been working on it. Come on, Ben. There you go. <laughs> it's yeah, Ben, cheers. our trusty news director and our bona fide tech guy who uh, loves to test all the latest and greatest. And what are you reviewing today? Well, you remember a couple of months back, we went over like the different kind of air tag carrying cases. Oh, they're yeah. All, you know, they're all kind of like this little keychain shaped. Yeah, mine's around well, here anyway. somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the problem because the air tags are still so new and there's only that one size. So they don't, you know, they're not like tile that's been around and they have all these shapes and sizes. Well, now you're starting to see companies kind of create newer, more creative ways to, to hold your air tags. Oh, really? And have you heard of a company called Raptic? No. They make like uh, heavy duty iPhone cases and just more little. Oh, more oh okay. Yeah, I know who they. Yes, yes. Yeah, they, they sent me a couple of things that they just released. One is this Link Plus Lock AirTags case, which it's heavy. It's big. It's a big carabiner with a uh, three digit combination lock on it. So, what, it you put that the, on your bike? You can put it on your bike. I would think, you know, like a lock box. Oh, uh, yeah. Any, yeah. You know, Mailbox. Like that. Yeah, something like that. And then they, uh, the second thing they sent me is this wallet. Oh, now that's smart. Like a minimal, yeah, it's a minimalist wallet. So you've got you know, front and center. You can put the air tag on the back. You've got a couple of card slots. But if you notice this metal around the front, you can detach this, and it's like an eight-in-one multi-tool. Oh. You know, screwdriver, box cutter, pry bar, bottle Okay, opener. so like, so that definitely has like, like Ben written all over that. It does, but I'm not going to try. It's not something I would try carrying through like a TSA check. <laughs> no, it's like, so, <laughs> you know, no, it's just my wallet. But so basically they're both $40 each. So one, you have this carabiner, this one, which is leather and the, the detachable, you know, uh, multi-tool on it. And it holds four cards or if you're carrying cash too, it only carries it only holds two cards. And you remember, I also reviewed a, a wallet similar to this, so it's about the same size as a... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That extra wallet. Yeah, that just, so. you know what? The, the, I like the carabiner with the lock. I think that is super smart. I mean, I use mailbox, but of course, I, that's a bad idea because your mailbox doesn't move. But yeah. uh, but as far as like putting on like, you know, like a, like a, like a bike or like maybe a, a briefcase, I mean, you know, a case or something like that, I think that would be awesome. Yeah, don't put it on something that would be easy to cut off. Like you hook it to like a duffel bag or something and somebody just breaks the plastic off. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's for, you know, it's a metal carabiner for, to, to connect other metal basically. So it's not easy to remove. So, but I did test these and uh, I'll say both of them have pros and cons. One of them more than the other. Well, you know what, when you did the review last time of all the different um, air tag holders, I did mm -hmm. buy the one that you recommended uh, for dogs. And so I put that on Abby's collar. That thing is phenomenal. It works oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you know, because she like, she like, you know, she's a big dog. I mean, okay, well, and I let me back up. When I got Barry a golden retriever, I, I didn't think it, she was going to be like, I don't know why. I didn't think she would be like 90 pounds. You know, I mean... She's a big dog. Anyway, she runs all around. So um, anyway, so your pick works great. Now, when you... Okay, Ben, you're back. I'm back. All right. Back. So, all right. So we have, we have the, the lock with the air tag. Yes. And can yeah, you. The carabiner, okay, right? Okay. So, and there, you can, can you take the air tag out or do you have to unlock it to take the air tag out? You have to unlock it. So make sure you don't have it locked. So you have to open it up like this and then only then can you slide out this case that holds i got it air tag okay it's, that's smart so, okay perfect yeah. nice so i'll talk about that first because it's more of the basic i mean it's it's big it's heavy it's three digit combination like i said attach it to something you don't you really don't want to lose maybe a bicycle maybe a lock box um the case in the center is like some kind of polycarbonate basic plastic so that's the only you know, point that's like a little bit on the weaker side of things, but um, 
everything else, it's solid. It locks. The, the lock was easy to set. And 40 bucks. If you think of it as only an AirTag case, 40 bucks is a lot of money. But if you actually have something valuable that you can connect it to, it might actually be worth it. So that gets four out of five. Oh, Ben heads, yes. Mm hmm. But we're going to talk about the wallet now. Because this, this one arguably has a few more features. Now, I told you when I did the this wallet review, I, I finally stopped carrying the big traditional bifold wallet a few months ago. Started going to the front pocket. And that's pretty much what this is. Sort of the same size. It's, it's a little wider, heavier because of the big chunk of metal on the front. Um, neat idea. It's kind of hard to remove the multi-tool because you have to bend the leather a little bit and turn it in order to release it. And that means you have to take everything out of the wallet so you don't oh. bend the cards or whatever. Mm, all right, so if you're so, going to be a MacGyver, you got to take everything out. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's good, I guess. If You know, if for anyone who's ever thought, man, I wish I had a trackable wallet I could also use to awkwardly fix random stuff. <laughs> this is wallet to get. So, you know, from because from a wallet standpoint, it doesn't do much. Like I said, four cards or two if you have cash. I, you know, I can't. I went to a minimalist wallet, but I can't go with one that carries less than like six cards. You know, between driver's license, couple payment cards, maybe insurance cards, things like that. You know, stuff that I have on my phone now too. But, you know, it's good to have the backup. So. This one, I really wanted to like. I, I carried it around for a few days, a few cards. But, you know, the pros, it's nice to keep an AirTag with you because that's really what it's designed to do. Sure. Right there in the center. Maybe the multi-tool will help in a pinch. And it's only 40 bucks, which for any kind of small wallet that's made out of leather, that's actually a really good price. But, you know, the cons, not everybody needs to carry a multi-tool, which is a pain to detach anyway. And which and that makes it heavy, and you don't get a lot of wallet storage. So this one, I had to give just two. Oh, womp womp. That's yeah. not good. No. no. I know. Mm -hmm. All right, I really so the carabiner like is good. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, I will tell you that the I guess it was probably two or three days ago. Uh, Barry's like, I can't find my wallet, and I'm like, and I'm like, oh man, and I'm like, wait, we put an air tag in it. Love that. <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. Go. Find the guy's wallet. Um, Very oh, nice. Speaking of your uh, your your dog collar, I, I don't even think I told you, but we have a puppy uh, Labrador retriever now, so I might be asking you a little bit more about the big how dogs. Well that air tag oh, yeah. Oh, I oh she's only that. eleven weeks now, but she'll oh, be big. Oh, you're kidding! And what color is she? Yeah. Uh, well, Dad was a full yellow lab. Mom was an English cream, so. He's oh. mostly very white with a little bit of tan on the back. Oh, and, now, the back. and everybody will notice that you're, are you in your bedroom? Yes. Not in your home office? Having some construction done on the house. So <laughs> my office is in the part of the house where that's happening. So, so how was it? Up here. So how, how was it like, re, like moving everything? I didn't move everything. Actually, I'm using a really old USB hub that's only kind of works. And I'm only using three monitors right now. I don't oh, know how gosh, that's people awful. only use three monitors. You know, <laughs> and on, on Tech Refresh this past week, you have to listen to the one that we just, we, I think we just dropped it the other day or Friday or today, whenever. And that, you know, it's time for us to give tips. And so, like, I give, like, you know, like, you know, here are eight photos that you should always have on your phone. Okay. Ben disclosed a personal fun fact about him that... Yes, once a year he reformats and reinstalls his OS, yes, on his laptop, which, you know, we are so envious that you do that. Thanks, Ben. Thank you.